as you know, through social media, as I told you earlier, like I'm not across it like <laughs> that. So I, I I did get many many uh, plugs, uh, not all for the the right reasons, but uh, uh, not saying I open them all up, but I've seen a few. Uh, but ultimately, I know who I am. I know where they want Kai to be, and also I want him. Why would I? Why mm-hmm. would I tarnish him? But I'm also very wary of our club and our success and how he's growing and coming along. Like there's certain things I'm not gifting a kid just because his social media account says he's very high and on that totem pole, it's like we have a job to do. And our league is very powerful as you, everyone knows, like from China to like, we got guys going that way because they're trying to, they're trying to poach all our players from all over. It's, we have a great league um, and he, there's a respect there and, as I've told him, there's a work rate that's needed for you to be successful, not only in our competition, but around the world. Um, and we were, while you're here, let's embrace that and play play the right way and accordingly. And if you can tick all these boxes and we can grow, we can get better. I think I sat with him early uh, when I got here. I said, I think roughly about 15 minutes. And I think the only thing he was expecting that at that point. And then the injuries happened in the preseason. He barely played. And by the end of the year, he worked out to, he was over 15 minutes and, you know, seeing Hapati and other guys play. And there was times where we had different conversations about, I wish I played more here or there, but that's also that every player's in that boat. You know, <laughs> I want to win. I want to play more. I want to win more games. You know, <laughs> I, I want to be on the other side of that. And so if that means that you can do more then great, but you have to show me every single day. And if you don't give that to me every single day or fit in with the group or understand or talk more or do this here, how can I give you a little more when you don't give a little more? So there's that give and take for, for a lot of our young players. And that was a, our bench was young, you know, they was, they're, they're very talkative when they're together, they great on social media as most kids are. Um, and they'll, when we were rolling, they were good. And when they were, it was going the other way. They were very quiet, they were, you know, knowing how to talk to one another, how to get the best out of each other. That was all a, a growth process. And so with Kai, he's still, he's still young. And, you know, right now is with the Filipino national team and they're excited to have him. I'm excited to watch him and uh, I'll be getting him a message uh, afterwards, not beforehand, as always. <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we want him to play well, but we're looking forward to seeing him hit the floor for his national team super young and had some really good games towards the back end of the season. So uh, in terms of getting him back uh, and you mentioned that you've had those tough conversations with him, clearly he's responded. Okay. For that relationship to stay where it is and he wants to come back. So what, what was that like in terms of telling him that we want you to come back? This is the way it's going to be. We think this is the best way for you to move forward. Uh, What was that conversation like? And was there any doubt that he was going to come back or how did he respond to that? Uh, that was a lot of conversation between our CEO and myself yeah. and uh, uh, I guess his his, his team. Um, and with that, that took a while uh, to get across the line, but um, ev- everything was in the best interest of Kai Soto. Um, not here to sugarcoat it. It was, you know, we love the kid. We want him to be here. Um, let's work to make this better. And not achieving, as I sent a message to him about, when he didn't get drafted that night. And I know that while well, everyone feels sorry or sad for him, it's like that's not the only way in the NBA. Jack mm-hmm. White is in the NBA right now. You know, he didn't he didn't get drafted either. Like I know that people want to see you go through these certain channels and kick in these doors and many ways to get there now just means that there's more teams interested in you than you just stuck with one. Uh and stuck with one means you can't go anything, but it's great to wear a uniform and be proud but it's also ultimately if you want to play play if not you're going to have to travel overseas to do it and hopefully you can come back and be a part of it um but never give up um and understand that you have a long way to go and what i said to you i thought you were two years away uh, obviously you went down this path for whatever reasons that you decided in and your agency and your group um but right now it's about him being here uh and again continue to grow and put his best foot forward and help us be successful